Hi, this is Amy Fox with the Food and Mood Lab. I'm coming to you today from my kitchen to talk to you about the superfood of healthy habits, meditation. I'm sure you've tried it. I know you must have heard about the benefits of meditation. Who hasn't, right? Like exercise for the body, um, healthy food for the gut. Meditation is conditioning the mind. And uh, the benefits are abundant. Research has suggested that meditation um, can reduce blood pressure. It can reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression, help with insomnia, and even reduce the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. So the research has definitely shown and backed that there's um, some really good data to show that it's beneficial. And when you look at um, a little bit further into the science, meditation is actually physically changing the brain through neuroplasticity, which is creating and protecting neural pathways in your brain and naturally releasing key neurotransmitters. Those are brain chemicals that help to regulate the balance of hormones, of vital hormones like serotonin and endorphins. Those are the feel-good hormones. So there's not only um, you're not only using meditation for feeling good, but it has some direct health benefits. But what about the connection between meditation and food and mood? Well, first, um, one of the key takeaways is reducing stress hormones. We might think about meditation as a benefit to just help us to relax, but actually it can help you with weight and um, just kind of weight management. When you are under physical um, or mental stress, usually there are increased levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. And um, when you have cortisol running through your, your body, it signals to store calories as fat. So if you have a lot of the stress hormone flowing through your body, it can be hard to lose weight, even if you're making healthy choices. The other connection is avoiding triggers. So meditation creates more mental space. It actually helps to create agency for you to make healthy choices. Practicing meditation relaxes the sympathetic nervous system so that you become calmer and less impulsive and more likely to make food decisions that you won't end up regretting. So it really helps to control food cravings and there's a, um, some recent research uh, that I can show in the link, um, 20 years of research that is showing that there's direct benefits between mindfulness meditation and a reduction in food binging. So um, there's a lot to be said about um, the benefits of meditation, giving you that agency, creating space, and helping you to um, develop your, your um, muscle, mind muscle. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line, again, is that it's not just an activity to relax. We've got to really think about it as a tool for us to use as a, as a way to incorporate in some of our healthy habits. But how do we easily get started? Um, first of all, it's um, free and also one of the easiest things to do because you can do it from anywhere. And nowadays, I'm sure you, we all know about the apps, Insight Timer, Calm, um, so many options out there. And there's also on um, any podcast app, if you were just to search mindfulness or three minute meditation, five minute meditation, I love grounded sleep, free, tons of options that I use at nighttime and there's many others out there. So it's easy, flexible, inexpensive. And so my suggestion is to really create tiny habits to work it into your uh, daily schedule. Maybe incorporate it in your wake up routine or your um, uh, wind down routine at night. And you can start to see the benefits in as little as three minutes a day. Um, we also have those apps on our watch. Mine goes off all the time with mindfulness. It doesn't have to be a big production. Just take a pause and deep breath. And even if it's for one minute, try that for a few days and see if that um, helps to bring the benefits you're looking for. Thanks.